Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as DVD Architect Studio. And here we are in a Vegas Movie Studio Platinum project. Adding titles to your movie is very simple. There are title templates available. If you look under the Media Generators tab in the upper left-hand corner of the program, now there are credit rolls. We look at those templates in other tutorials. There's legacy text, which were the original, somewhat primitive text, although they're pretty powerful, that were created for the program. Titles and text are kind of the workhorse for the program, and as you can see, a number of templates here. We can drag any one of these down because once we drag them down to our timeline, you'll see that if we go up to the preset menu at the top of the screen, we still have access to each of those templates, so we can change them on the fly here. Now, these animations apply to the text itself. We can animate in addition to those animations. In other words, while we have one of these text animations going on with our title, we can actually add animations that will change the various characteristics of that title at the same time. So as not to make that too confusing, let's just set our preset back to default. This is no animation whatsoever. And I'm just gonna type Los Angeles. And with the text selected, I'm just going to select a font and a scale and add some color to it. And this is the title we're going to work with. Right now it's location. If you look down here is at 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That's dead center in the screen. That's a good position to start from. Now you notice along the right hand side, you see little stopwatches. If you use legacy text, the old titles, you could apply an animation to the entire title. But one of the cool things about titles and text is they're a little more advanced. You can actually apply keyframe animation to the individual characteristics. In other words, you could create titles in which the color actually changes over the course of the title, or its shape, or its outline, or its shadow. Pretty cool. I'll show you what I mean on a simple basis here. We're just going to change its location. So let's toggle open location. You can see the little crosshair shows that the title is right now dead center in our screen. I'm going to widen out the panel a little bit. Now rather than manually moving things around by dragging on those crosshairs, I'm just going to move the title completely off the right hand side of the screen by changing its horizontal location to two. So the title still exists, it's just off on the right, it's still centered up and down. And then I'm going to click on that stopwatch and when I do you see down here I get a keyframe controller. I'm going to move the playhead back to the very beginning of the title. And then I'm going to move the playhead in just about, oh, a second maybe. And I'm going to change the location back to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now my text is centered. And if I move the playhead or scrub the playhead through, you can see that the title will now fly in from the right and sit centered. And let's move the playhead just another few seconds here. And I'm going to just duplicate those keyframes. Down at the bottom of the keyframe controller are a number of options for jumping to a previous keyframe or jumping to the next keyframe or for adding keyframes. And if we click add keyframes, we will get duplicates of the keyframes right before. So what we have is a hold essentially. Our title is going to move in from the right and then it's going to hold until we get to this keyframe. And then a second or so after this keyframe, we'll add another animation point or another keyframe point in which the title flies off to the left. To do that, I'm going to type in negative two as my horizontal position. And that's all there is to creating our animation. When I play it through, you'll see the title fly in from the right, pause for a moment, then fly off to the left. And that's how simple keyframed animation is. So you can create your own custom animation. As I said, you can also leave text animation on so you can have the text doing some crazy jumping around and dancing around at the same time as you're adding your own custom animation and we can have fun with it having its color shift or having the shadow behind it move around a lot of really cool things you can do using keyframed animation along with your titles and text here in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And if you want to know a lot more about the program, check out the many tips and tutorials we have on our website. If you want to know everything there is to know about Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as DVD Architect, be sure to check out our moviepicks.com guides to both those programs. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.